Good day everyone. Let's try to solve this geometry problem taken from the Argentinian Mathematical Olympiad. Now in the figure you have a rectangle with sides measuring 15 and 18 and inside the rectangle you have six equal squares whose sides is D. So we're going to find the value of D. Now notice that this is the side of the square and it intersects a portion of the side of the rectangle. So if one can imagine and draw a line, perpen a perpendicular line at this point, then we will have a right triangle. So we go ahead and draw that. So you now have that one. So you now have a right triangle. Let's now label the sides of the triangle. Let's just label the shorter side as Y and the longer side as X. But you can do the other way around. So notice that X is a side of the triangle. At the same time, it's a portion of the side of the rectangle. Now we continue the process. We form another triangle here with this line. So this is X because this is the longer side. And this is Y because this is the shorter side. Now in this two processes that we did, we notice that a portion of the side of the rectangle has been broken down into segments measuring X and Y. That means if we continue the process, we will end up breaking these sides of the rectangle into smaller segments measuring X and Y. And from there, we can form an equation wherein all these segments forming X and Y would be totaling just the same as the number indicating the measure of each of the side. So let's continue. We draw this one. This is another triangle. So this is the longer side. This is the X again. And that is the Y. But notice that this is the X. This one here is just equal to this side here. So that is X. And of course, this is Y. We draw this triangle again here. This is now X. And of course, this is your Y. But again, this one here is just equal to this one. So the measure here is Y. Then we continue the process further. Notice that this side and this side is just the same. Now, this yellow side, we can take this by breaking this segment here. And breaking this segment and taking away this part, which is Y, you will obviously get this yellow segment here. So that means this yellow segment is taken from the longer segment, which is the X, minus the smaller segment, which is the Y, that's why the measure here is X minus Y. And since this again is the same here, so you will have the same measure here, X minus Y. We go ahead, continue drawing triangles. This one is Y. And this length is obviously the same as this one. Therefore, the measure here is also Y. And of course, since this is X here, and this is just the same here, same length, so this is also X. And of course, with the triangle that we have formed with this line, this is also X. Because again, the longer side is always represented by X. Then, this one here, this is the longer side, so you expect this to be X. And you expect this side to be Y. Then, lastly, you draw this triangle. This is the longer side, X. 
So, of course, this is the shorter side y. Now, notice now that this side 15 has been divided into different segments measuring x, y, and x minus y respectively. That means all the y's, the x on this side will give you a total of 15. So that same concept will apply to this one. All the values of x and y here will give you a total of 18. But notice that we're not done yet. We still have to look for this one. So continue the process of drawing triangles in this side. So we have this one here. This is the longer side again. So that would be x. And of course, this is y. We draw another triangle. So this will be lo the longer side x, and of course, this is the shorter side y. Now, this side here is just equal to the side. Now, this side is taken when we break the x and take out the y. So that means this is left when you subtract x by y, so this is x minus y. And since this side is the same here, you also have x minus y. So now, oh, the length of the rectangle measuring, the length of the side of the rectangle measuring 18 is now broken into several segments measuring x, y, and x minus y. So the same concept with what we did with the side measuring 15, all the values of x and y here on this side will also give you a total of 18. So we now solve it using systems of equations. For this side here, you have y plus y plus y, that's 3y minus y is 2y, and then x plus x plus x is 3x, so that means you have 3x plus 2y, that gives you a total of 18, so that would be 18. For this side here, you have x plus x plus x is 3x, y plus y, 2y minus y is y, so you just have 3x plus y, that gives you 15. You solve this one, you solve the system, we now have, subtract this, that gives you y equals Three. Now, to solve for x, we can simply substitute the value of y to any of the equations. Let's just have 3x plus y equals 15. So y is 3, so that gives you 3x equals 15 minus 3. This gives you 3x equals 12. You divide both sides by 3, that gives you x equals 4. So that means you now have y equals 3 and x equals 4. So going back, we draw this line so that it will be perpendicular. So now you have a right triangle and the D is now your hypotenuse. So you now have from that equation or from... The Pythagorean theorem, D is your hypotenuse, so that would be D squared equals X is 4 squared plus 3 squared. This is D squared. This 4 squared is 16 plus 3 squared is 9. D squared is 25, which gives you a value of D, which is equals to 5. So that means the value of D is... And now the problem is solved. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy learning.